I'm doing fantastic. It's funny, we, we had this set up for Friday. I got sick. Something came up for you guys on Monday. Now here we are on Wednesday making it pop. So I appreciate you being here. For those that may not know who you guys are, can you do me a favor and properly introduce yourself? Let me know whereabouts in the world you are right now. Plug and promote anything and everything. All right, so we're a band called Uchikatsu from Long Island, New York. My name is Jonathan, this is Lawrence. I sing in the band and he plays guitar. Um, we got a new record coming out called Depths, our debut record. We got together a couple years ago and we've been going hard ever since, man. Right now we're currently sitting in a hotel. That's where I'm living at the moment. But, you know, we're doing the best we can. We're chilling. We're having a good time. I hope you guys can hear us because we're using the jankiest laptop ever right now. <laughs> You're good. It's, it's, it's making it through. It's making it through. Don't worry. Uh, a right. couple, a couple of questions to start. When can we expect, you said it was called Depths? Depths, yeah. When can we expect Depths to be released? Oh, we're planning in April, hopefully early April. Okay, cool. Hell yeah. Um, and what, how did you come up with the band name? So, interesting enough, we were, uh, we were shooting around different like names and stuff like that. And uh, we have a lot of common interests in this band. Uh, one of them obviously being horror and the other being like uh, Japanese culture, martial arts culture. You know, so we came up with the name Uchikatsu. That was this guy. He shot it to me. And I liked it because I'm a cornball and it sounded Japanese. I had no idea what it meant. <laughs> you know, I was just like, uh, I was like, all right. So I looked it up and it meant to conquer. <clears throat> and uh, funny enough, that was one of the ideas that I had had for the band anyway, was calling the band Conqueror. Oh. But uh, so it's just a I coincidence. Like yeah, total coincidence. But I liked the way it sounded, man. So we just we just ran with it. Plus, you know, as a group of guys, we've overcome a lot of stuff in our lives. So it sounded uh, sounded appropriate, you know. Are you, are you all from oh, yeah. New York originally, or does that just kind of like where everything led to? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're all from New York. We're all from Long Island originally. Our bass player lives in Delaware currently. We're all from different towns in, uh, in Long Island. I grew up in a, a small, like a beach town, two towns over. My drummer was the kid across the street growing up, you know, so oh, like, literally was my, my little neighbor played drums. I think I gave him a rock band drum set one day. Hell yeah. <clears throat> and I told him to get good at this, and he actually did. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> my uh, my co-host today is uh, my buddy Mojo. He's in a band called Encircled Throne, a metal band also. Uh, what question do you have for the fellas before we before we start playing some music? What was that, man? I'm sorry. Um, i to think of a question. Mojo is what he goes by, but he's in a band called Encircled Throne. Ah, oh, lit, 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 lit. Yeah, we saw that follow on Instagram, man. Appreciate it. So speaking of where'd you get the titles from, you posted the uh, the music video five days ago. What is that? What is that? Where'd you get that title for that song? La Paul oh, Duvide. The Call of the Void. So that uh, that actually in French translates to that feeling when you're standing on the edge of a cliff and you're suddenly compelled to to jump. It's like it's like that uh, acute awareness of one's own mortality. I guess you know you drive in your car, you feel like uh, I could just switch the lane over right here and that's it you know but you don't yeah. do it it's 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 not a it's not necessarily a suicidal thing by any means at all it's just, it's just that our brains tend to block out a lot of the time that uh we're very in control of our own mortality and it's just that that kind of realization that comes in there for a second and uh if you watch the video and listen to the lyrics in the song the uh the song's somewhat describing that it's someone is somewhat describing a uh, a sudden awareness of how fragile things are and uh you know facing mortality and the character in the music video is, is certainly going through some uh traumatic event i and love I, she, I love how much thought you guys put into not only the band name but like the song titles too like especially the one that we're about to jam right now uh who who does all their production for you guys it's this guy here me. yeah man lawrence Everything is the man they say he is the man dude he comes to us with the full almost skeleton of the song uh, for the most part, it's the, the he comes up with the, how he wants the drums to sound, how he wants the bass and the guitars to sound. By the time I get it, all I really got to do is write my vocals and and write my lyrics and possibly a music video for it. You know, as, as time goes on, but he does pretty much all the skeletal work instrumentally. Amazing. 
Hell yeah. My my buddy my buddy Austin, aka Ozzy Bear, says hello. He wished he was here today, but something came up and so he could not make it. But uh oh, man. we'll What's we'll up, figure Austin? something out another time. But uh so so if it's okay with you, we'll go ahead and jam the song that dropped five days ago, La Paul Duvide. But before we do, were you able to get any hot sauce for the trivia yeah, part? So I will. Oh man, you do? You're on top of the head. I do. No idea. What I what did you bring, Lawrence? Tell me what you brought for us today. I want Cholula. Some Cholula. Cholula. That, that, that works. That works. But to do to do the hot sauce portion, the trivia portion, I need to know some information about you guys. Oh, that works. That works. Uh, what movie or TV show, if you could agree on one or the other, a movie or a TV show, have you seen the most? Where if I ask you trivia on it, you will not get stumped. Oh shit! Oh shit! Both of us. That's rough. Bro. Just pick. Just pick one. But you guys would agree on either a movie or a TV show. I'll give you a second to talk it over. And we're going to jam the new single right here. We're hanging out with Uchi Katsu. Please hit the subscribe button if you're watching and support him. Go on Spotify. Hit the follow button. Show him some love. Uchi Katsu! Lapel Duvide. Okay, I said it wrong. My bad. All right, so before it drops, Lawrence, how long does it take? To, to write and direct something like this to the point of where it gets to our eyes? Ooh. So that song, just audio-wise, I banged that song out in what, a week max? I think so, man. I mean, like the, the beginning stages of it, definitely. I went through some changes, but yeah. pretty fast. That one was fast. We added that whole long intro like, recently. We did that for the video. But uh, the video itself, we... We shot the first scene in August and then kind of forgot about it for a while. Yeah. And started, <laughs> what, just in January? -ish? Yeah, back back in January. I, I had written the, the concept for the video and then we started filming it in the summertime. Uh, we shot a bunch of scenes that are in this video. We took a little bit of a break. The song went through some changes that were to suit the video a little bit better. And then I think we picked up back in like mid January. It was, it was brick. It was cold. There's some scenes in there where she looks cold and she's not acting. It's freezing outside. <laughs> <laughs> For sure. What what movie or TV show did you agree on, by the way? Uh, Nightmare Before Christmas? Nightmare. We're going to do Nightmare Before Christmas. All right. Cold. Give me a nice. minute to look up some trivia. It came out clean, too, fellas. It looks really good. Appreciate that, man. Are you ready to be stumped, though? Close. We're going to do our best <laughs> to stump you right here. Here we go. In the Nightmare Before Christmas, what is the name of the flower and what is used to cover up the smell of what Sally continuously slips the doctor to be able to escape? Uh, Deadly Nightshade. Deadly Nightshade is the first one, but what does she use to cover up the smell? Oh, fuck. Oh, the fuck. <laughs> oh man. Why's it gotta be such a hard question, bro? I thought that was an easy one. My bad. I'll try to go easier on the second one. Ribbit. 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 Oh my Ribbit. god. Ribbit. I guarantee you, I can gonna think of it too. Like after this is over. Yeah. Enjoy the Chalua. It was Frog's Breath. Mojo is trying to give you a hint with the with the ribbits in the background right there. Enjoy the Chalua. Frog's breath. Oh, I could hear. I could hear a frog's breath. I could yeah. hear it now. So. Frog's breath was used to cover frog's up the smell breath. right there. <laughs> uh, so let's say let's say the album comes out. Depths comes out uh, next month in April. What's the plan after that? And then going forward for 2023, what would you guys like to achieve? Go for it, Laura. Gonna play a fuck ton of shows. Yeah, man. Do what Finally, we're, do what we're best at. And all our other bands, all we ever did was play shows, pound the pavement. So we're probably going to go back to doing that all over again and uh, support the record like crazy. Everyone's been begging us to do that. So here we go. that's the move. Is there plans to do any shows outside of New York? Maybe just the surrounding states? Oh, oh yeah, for sure. For sure, dude. We'll do, we'll do North Carolina, South Carolina. We'll do, obviously, Jersey's close by, Atlantic City, stuff like that. Excellent. Excellent. Hell yeah. <laughs> Mojo, what's what's the uh, the next question for you? You got for them? Um, Mac in chat wanted to know where'd you get the contacts, John? Where'd I get the contacts? 
Oh, that's funny. That's a good question. Um, so the first contacts in our first music video, I got at a very cheap dollar store. I don't recommend doing that because they go in your in your fucking house. <laughs> it might hurt. Uh, yeah, they just they weren't comfortable to wear for a really long time, uh, and they definitely did some uh, did a number on my eyes after the first music video we shot, which was throwing myself. But since then, I've upgraded, and uh, there is a website. I can't think of the name of it right. What is it called? Primal. Primal, Primal Contacts. Uh, yeah, yeah. So I went and I got a pair that are actually pretty decent. Primal Contacts. Hell yeah. yeah. Do you guys have any interesting pre-show rituals? Let's say it's five minutes before stepping on stage. Is there anything fun you guys do right before you step on stage? I definitely uh, try to shit. You know? <laughs> For sure. You know what I'm saying? Can't be doing that on stage. <laughs> no, yeah, no, no GG Allen around here, bro. I'm definitely trying to uh, make sure that doesn't have to happen. Tie my shoes really tight. What about you? <laughs> it's been so long since I played a show. I do a bunch of push-ups. For, you know, it's been almost pump. ten years since I played a show. Getting the blood, get the blood Word. flowing a little bit. Did did, no. did 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 you guys both do the chulu? I might I might have missed it. Did we both what? Did you do the hot sauce? I'll do some hot uh, sauce. No, Let's do the hot sauce, man, because we suck at answering questions. Yeah. You first, Lauren. All right. I insist. I'll go with you. I got some uh, some hot sauce from New Delhi called cayenne pepper hot sauce. Oh, my God. He did, he did so much. I love Cholula. <laughs> That's convenient. It's not bad when you like hot sauce. That's why I have that fucking size bottle. Yeah, there you go. Nice. I Look. can't let him upstage me, man. Let's see if we can uh, double up on it. Oh my god. In the oh Nightmare god. Before Christmas, which holiday icon do the trick or treaters bring to Halloween Town first? The first thing they capture. <laughs> they capture a bunch of holiday icons, which was the first. Yeah, yeah, one. They bring the Easter Bunny back first. That is correct! Hell yeah! There we go. There we go. Oh, this one sucks. This one sucks. I had to do it yesterday. So, so John and Lawrence, uh, we have a friend of the show. Well, she actually works for the show. Her name's Trista. She looked up a while ago the most sour thing she could find on the internet. And she found something from the United Kingdom called Barnett Mega Sour Raspberry Balls. They look like this. I'm going to douse one in wasabi and, and eat it while continuing continuing uh, <laughs> this interview. It's gnarly. It made me like tear up heavily yesterday when I did it. But um, let's see. Let's say, let's say all of a sudden a whole bunch of money falls on your guy's lap uh, from a, a label signing or something like that. And I mean just millions per band member. What, is there is there like a toy or something that you've always wanted that was just too expensive, but now you can just splurge? What are just some fun things you'd buy with the money? Oh man, fun stuff you buy with money. I buy so many Ernie Ball music magnet cards. <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. With man. a couple million, I could probably buy like three. That's a good one. <laughs> that's a good one. I don't know, man. I think I'd, my horror collection would get a lot bigger. Uh, I'd probably buy a couple of houses. Do like a responsible thing real quick and get into real estate. You know, it's, it's kind of a dumb answer, but it's a, it's an honest one. You know what I'm saying? This is horrible. What's the best horror movie ever? Best horror movie ever? Dude, that's fucking killing me. Really? Evil Dead, probably. Are you excited about the new one? Mm-hmm. New one looks badass. Well, actually, I'm really excited about the new one, man. For that's sure. Cool. Is uh, is that what got you into the the special effects with the makeup? Uh, just Sam Raimi, the, the idea of making a movie with your friends and stuff like that was probably the reason why I sat around in a room and I was like, I'm just going to make our music videos and then I want to make a horror movie. <laughs> and, I, and then, uh, yeah, I started doing special effects because I grew up watching horror movies and I used to own a, a haunted house out of my house. I'm that guy on the block, you know, uh, painting everybody's face and doing uh, liquid latex anyway. So now it's just an opportunity to do it on a little bit of a bigger scale. As a as a horror movie buff, do you ever go to like horror cons or anything and, and get to meet some of the actors and get autographs? You know, I have over here to my right right now a poster signed by Kane Hodder. 
Wow, oh, hell yeah. yeah. Oh, dude, it's sick. I'll, I'll have my girlfriend bring it over right now. I, I actually don't have a chance to go to those horror conventions. Yeah, man. Look at that. That's badass. You know what I'm but <laughs> actually, actually. Kane's on my list of autographs I want, and I'm, I'm still pissed that he wasn't in. I'm still pissed. That he wasn't in uh, Jason versus Freddy because he would have. I, I know. We finally had a chance to see Jason versus Freddy and actually have Kane Hodder versus Robert Englund, and they they played us hard on that. But we can do ridiculous. Uh, we've got time for a couple more. Mojo, what will be a, a final question or two that you have for the boys? Man, that thing is no joke, by the way. Sorry, Sour Ball. We uh we discussed with another group about the the horror movies. Is there? Do you have like? A decade that you more prefer? Well, prefer decade they, for... they couldn't agree for agree for nothing. I was wondering if maybe you had a, a decade of horror movies. Cause I just said any, oh, like, oh, the older oh, or the oh, newer. Oh, but like, oh, is dude. there like, do you like more um, of the older school style, or do you like what they're doing nowadays? I do. I do like the Universal stuff a lot. Uh, I grew up watching a lot of that stuff with my parents. But um, for me personally, I'm like a big slasher guy, so I really like the 70s and 80s. Uh, the 80s was just, you know, a horrendous dump of, of every single slasher movie you could possibly get. It was so easy to make one, and everyone was doing it. I love all that stuff. I love bad movies. Um, so I'd have to, I'd have to say probably for me personally, the 70s and the 80s. I like it all, though. I'm not one of those dudes who's like anti remake or anything like that. There are some on, some that are terrible, some that are good. Like the Evil Dead remake, uh, I thought was great. Yeah. Or Texas Chainsaw, Jessica Biel, awesome. You know what I mean? I, so I like it all. <laughs> I was able to watch the Winnie the Pooh horror movie last night, which I went into it thinking that it was going to be a disaster. And it wasn't the best movie I've ever seen. But there was a couple of cool kill scenes. If you get a chance to watch it, there's there's a couple of cool gnarly kill scenes in that one. Cool, man. I'd be happy to check that out for sure. Blood and Honey. Hell yeah. So, so Depths, when Depths comes out next month, I know we're playing a lot of shows the rest of the year. Is there is there uh, plans to do... Because I know you said you had shot this music video like a bulk of it last summer. Is there a, a, other videos that we can expect in the near future that are like almost ready to go, but I imagine they'd come out April, May ish, or beyond that? I'm um, actually in the in the writing process right now of a new uh, new music video for a song we have called Final Girl. Uh, it's a slasher movie, it's a short slasher film. It's something I just wanted to do for a long time, and uh, we wrote a song pretty recently. Uh, I haven't really write Final Girl now. Yeah. yeah. Sorry. January? Yeah, we started like a song back in January, and uh, the lyrics and the, the video content, they never really match up. I kind of do that on purpose. You know, I, I, the lyrics tend to be more true to life and, and whatnot, but with the visuals, I really get to go down that, that horror, uh, that lane, you know. But uh, yeah, we're doing like a mm -hmm. slash of film, and we're going to shoot a bunch of stuff like that. Probably within the next couple of weeks, we'll start filming that here and there and doing like B-roll and stuff, and then by summer, it should be done. So, Very we'll cool. See. My my final question for you guys, and then we'll let you go. And we appreciate your time. Is uh, is yeah. there any advice that you could give to to other local bands? Maybe there was a mistake you guys have made at some point in your career that you don't want other bands to make, or somebody in the industry that's maybe a little bit bigger than your band has said, "Hey, this is a a, a format I think you should follow." Any advice you can give uh, any local bands? Stop waiting for someone to tell you that you're good enough and stop waiting to seek approval from other people if you want to do something and your intentions are in the right place and you do it because you like doing it and you're having fun doing it anyway you should pursue that uh it's not the most popular thing to say you know i know like the safe route is the better route according to most people but i think if something's in your heart go for it and do it because you like doing it. That's advice I would give to anybody about anything. That doesn't just apply to, to being in a band or anything. I think if you're if you're passionate about something, you know, go get it. But yeah, what about you, man? What would you tell the kids? Uh, don't this for experience. Don't just jump into it and be like, I have to play a million shows. Oh, hell yeah, cool. it's not as worth it as you think it is. Like back in the day when. That was the only way for people to find out who you were. Okay, yeah. Yeah. But now we have the internet, and everyone's like recording themselves at home now. Yeah, man. Utilize like, the tools for sure. Yeah. For sure. Like, just grind, work on your music, and then when people really want to see you live, you're gonna get a bunch of people going to your shows. Yeah. 
you're not going to play a hundred shows or no one knows who you are. hundred shows to five kids. Yeah. You know? Remember right. Yeah. yeah. That sucks. <laughs> it's very, very That's good fun. advice. Well, fellas, we look forward to Depths hopefully coming out in April. This is a lot of fun, man. We appreciate you guys. I'm I'm bummed that I can only stump you one time, but you were able to get the other one. Uh, thanks for bringing the hot sauce. Ladies and gentlemen, Uchikato! You guys have an awesome day. If it's okay with you, I'm going to throw this up on YouTube later, and I'll message you the link. Cool. Hell yeah. Cheers, fellas.